Hello, you're welcome uh, with your friend, Professor Doreen Oguayo. I'm so delighted to be here with you and to have this program begin to air. And uh, I know you are listening. I I'm just so glad. I'm so grateful to God that you're listening. And uh, I I'm so proud and I believe that God is going to take you to a higher level. I believe that God is going to do you good. I believe that God is going to elevate you. I believe that God is going to do great and mighty things in your life because he is your father and he desires that all is well with you. For the Bible says he came to give us life and life abundantly. So I'm hopeful to God that he is going to work towards that ending in the name of Jesus. With your friend, Prophetess Doreen, I'm delighted to be here and we are going to be diving into the word to see uh, what the Lord has for us in this season, in this particular season of your life. What is the Lord saying? What does God expect of you? What does God want of you? Amen. Uh, and and we, we are going to be airing every Saturday. Uh, just stick with me. I'm, I'm grateful that you are listening. Just stick with me and we see where God will take us. Hallelujah. Um, I bring greetings uh, from... Uh, uh, from uh, our church, Comfort Healing Well International. Uh, we are so proud that we are speaking to you. Uh, I also want to, to, to congratulate you for uh, finishing your Christmas well. I know you had a good time and we are looking forward for the best. Yeah, um, for today we are going to be diving in the, in the word of the season. And uh, I'm going to be speaking from Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 7, 37, we all know uh, the word, we should never get familiar to the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is always new every morning, just as his grace and his mercy is new every morning. So we are going to be uh, reading from the book of Ezekiel. And uh, uh, the book of Ezekiel 37 says, uh, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was full of bones. Verse 2, Then he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live again? So I answered, Lord, I, I, I know not. Only you know. Again, he, uh, he said to me, prophesy to these dry bones and said to them, O dry bone, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of, of, of uh, the Lord God to these bones. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put news in you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Then, shall, then you shall know that I am the Lord. Uh, so the man of God does as he said. So I prophesied as I was commanded, as and as I as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the snooze and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also, he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord, Come from the four winds, O breath, and and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded and breath came into them and they lived and stood up, up upon their feet an exceedingly great army. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Let us just pray. Father, we thank you for your word of the season. I know you are going to do us great. I know you're going to speak to that woman. I know you're going to speak to that gentleman. I know you're going to speak to us, oh God. Father, we bless you and we pray that you breathe, you breathe, you breathe your life unto the word, unto the scripture, that it may mean a lot to them that it may bring them back to life those who have been down that it may cause them to resurrect to re to be revitalized in the name of jesus so therefore we thank you father because you are in charge in Jesus' name we've prayed amen yes my 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 darling listener this is what the lord uh, is trying to tell you in this season many of us have been uh, <coughs> uh, distracted in one way or the other. You may have had plans, but the plans turned out uh, totally different. 
as as it has been the case we've all especially in this season we've all been affected we planned different and then the outcome was totally different we planned it differently but the course was totally totally different and and that happened because of the situations or circumstances that were beyond our control a circumstance that may be beyond your control there is that expectation you've had there is that hope you've had and you thought things are going to turn out in a certain way but because of the unexpected the the, the external stimuli the external factors th things have ended up going in a totally different direction than you expected and um uh, some of you, I, I know you 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 have expected totally different when i try to break out break down the, there are those who have expected that maybe by this time round i will be married there is one who has expected that maybe by this time i will be at a certain level there is one who who, who had hope that probably at, at this time maybe i will be in another country maybe i will be doing something totally different but then the cause takes a totally different charge. The Bible tells us that while Peter, rather while Paul were, were going to to Rome, that because of the external factors, the the the, the wind, the the, the the turbulent wind blew them to a totally different direction and they ended up on the island of Potmas. And they were wondering, Pete Paul was wondering, why on hell am I here? Just like it may be in your life, you you expected something different. You expected to be going west, and then somehow, because of the prevailing conditions, you end up in the east. You expected to be somewhere this year. You expect to be somewhere by the end of there by 2020 you had plans that you would have achieved this but then plans end up totally being drifted to a totally different different direction i just want to speak to you that just as it is in verse uh, 37 in chapter 37 as we see uh, the children of israel that the prophecy or the, the text is still talking about the children of israel they had a totally different plan they had totally different plans they had hope in totally different things but their life ended up totally opposite of what they expected and so the lord was speaking to 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 ezekiel to speak to the dry bones that had dried up in significance to the children of israel but i want to dwell on the on the on the on the dry bones hallelujah i want to dwell there just a moment before i shift the lord says speak unto these dry bones hallelujah speak unto these dry bones and tell them hey hear the word of the living god and as we roll down in the in the scriptures, the Bible begins to explain the the the, 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 the um, he begins to explain what this all meant, and he says these are the children of Israel who have lost hope. Hallelujah! Who have lost hope? There, you may have, as I was explaining before, hope. The Bible tells us that faith is a substance of the things we hope for. So we had faith that we would achieve certain things. We had faith that you would ha achieve a certain thing or be in a certain level. But then things turned out totally different. Hallelujah. Things turned out totally different. In most cases, when things turn out totally different, most of us bury the hope. Most of us tend to give up on the things that we have um, hoped for, the things we have had faith in. In We begin to, you know, uh, lose faith. We begin to lose hope and believe and begin to think that probably it may not happen or probably it was not meant to happen. And in most cases, we try to console ourselves and say, maybe it wasn't God's will. I want to encourage you today. Do not console yourself that maybe it was not the will of the Lord. It is the will of the Lord for you to be well. It is the will of the Lord for you to prosper. It is the will of the Lord for you to achieve all that that you're supposed to achieve. It is not the will of the Lord that you go miserable. No, 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 no. But if things have turned out totally different because of external factors, that shouldn't mean that you, you should give up hope. No, 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 no. This is not time to give up hope. This is not the time 
time to give up hope. You will be in a place that you're supposed to be. I want someone to declare with me that yes, I know I have not gotten there, but I know I will be there by the power of the living God. I know I am going to reach by the power of the living God. Come on, someone declare with me. I am going to reach my destination. I am going to reach my destination. Come on, someone say that, that I am going to reach where I'm supposed to reach. I am going to achieve that which I'm supposed to achieve. Hallelujah. So the Bible tells us that God speaks to Ezekiel and tells him prophesy to the dry bones. And I want us to understand that the dry bones were once living. Amen. These dry bones were once human beings. They were once people who had visions. They were once people who had hope. They were once people who had desires. And like I said, because of the external factors, something happened along the way and they ended up dead. And they didn't just end up dead. They, the Bible describes them as dry bones. Bones are already dry by nature, isn't it? Yeah, bones are already dry by nature. But again, there was another level, another condition that made them even much more drier. Hallelujah. Just like you may be there and you just feel like I, I am too, things are just too, too dry. Apart from being normal dry, they're abnormally dry. And you're wondering, how on earth am I going to get out of this dryness? How on earth am I going to get out of this? When you look at your situation, you feel like, honestly, there is no way out. Pr praise the Lord. You feel like you just can't have the exit out of that which you are in. But the Bible tells us that in that, in that moment when the bones were in the valley, the Lord says to this man and say, prophesy unto these dry bones and tell them that you dry bones dry bones hear the word of the living God. Hallelujah. I want I want to prophesy unto you, into you, into the dry situation. That situation that you feel is too dry, that you cannot come out of it. I want to speak to it and say, hey, your situation, listen to the word of the living God. Because the word of the living God is a hammer that can shatter every dry thing. The word of the living God is a double-edged sword that can penetrate even the hardest of the situations and I'm speaking to that situation whatever it is to listen to the word of the living God because the, the word of the living God has power to move mountains the word of the living God has power to change things the word of the living God has power to transform things and that is exactly what God told this, the man of God to do in that moment where there was nothing. I want to tell you that in the beginning there was the word. The word was there in the beginning. When things seem to be dry that you find you have no beginning. The word is the beginning. When everything seems to be totally disarrayed and you feel like you have no beginning. The word of the Lord is the beginning because it has always been the beginning beginning it has always been there in the beginning begin with the word of the lord today which is here the word of the lord the word of the lord says you will live the word of the lord says you will have life the word of the lord says you will be alive again your hope will be alive again your dream will be alive again whatever you desire will be alive again hallelujah the Bible tells us that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. In the beginning, most times we want to do certain things first. And as Christians, we have failed to understand that before anything happens, there has to be the word. Before anything happens, there has to be the word. The word is the beginning. When you feel like you do not have a starting point, I want to tell you that the starting point should be the word of the living God. The starting point should be you to receive, to hear, to learn, to read. The word of the Lord is the beginning. We all know of, of, of this great man, Abraham. 
But before Abraham became great, before anything bege began, anything began, anything great began happening in his life, there was the word. Uh, we see in Genesis chapter 12, God tells calls him and tells him, Abraham, I want you to leave that land where you're in and go to the land that I'm going to show you. That land... Will, will I, I will make you a nation when I when you accept and and do what I want you to do I will make you a nation I will bless you and you will be a blessing to others before Abraham became a nation before Abraham became a blessing to others before Abraham became a blessing even to himself there was the word he had the word of the living God and that is why on this program we are going to bring you the word the true living word of the Lord which you need that word which you need for for the beginning to begin before you you begin before that the, before you begin anything before you do anything the word should be the beginning of it all that is why you are here and the Bible is telling us in this in this particular text that the bones were totally dry in the in the to the point that there was no beginning there was there was no beginning there was no starting point there was no i, I mean they could not you know there was no starting point but then the bible comes and te the bible tells us that the lord spirit of the living god t talks to ezekiel and tells him prophesy to the dry bones speak to them the word of the living god and even you as you are listening begin when you feel like you do not have a starting point you have you, you want to do a certain project but you don't know where to begin from you want to do something but you do not know where to start from you seem a bit confused not just confused but you don't have even the resources you don't have the emotional resources you don't have the spiritual resources you don't have the physical resources you don't have the financial resources and you feel like you do not have a starting point i want to tell you the word of the living god is the starting point in the in in the bible the bible says that god Cause the spirit of the Lord to speak to Ezekiel and tell him prophesy to the dry bones, prophesy to the situation where you are, prophesy to your marriage. Even when it you seem like all hope is dead and the, the, everything seems to be so dry, age you 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 you're being bothered by age and then you're being bothered by the external forces and you're believing God for someone and someone is not coming. You're believing God for a miracle but nothing is happening. Yeah, you're fasting and praying but nothing is happening I want to tell you that speak the word into your situation tell your marriage that hear the word of the Lord ah uh, you are going to live you you are going to come into existence you are going to begin to come into existence as the dry bones were t typically dry but as they had the word of the living God everything be began to come into place everything began to to, to form in the name of Jesus and maybe you are there and and you're having issues with your health and you've done everything you can but everything seems to be not working to, to your favor i want you to speak the word the, of the lord into that situation into your health and tell your health that hey listen to the word of the living god i am going to be well i am going to be well i am healthy i am going to live in the name of jesus maybe you've had a project maybe you desired to go somewhere but everything turns out totally different i want you to speak the word of the living god into that situation hallelujah hallelujah the bible goes on to tell us that as as ezekiel began to speak into these situations into the dry bones the bible tells us and while he was speaking he heard a sound of rattling he had a sound of rattling. The bones began to, to, uh, uh, to come together. The bones began to form themselves in, into place. Hallelujah. Let me dwell there a little bit. I, I want to imagine that in these dry bones, in this valley of the dry bones, I, I want to imagine that these bones were scattered. Hallelujah. I want to believe that the bones were scattered. That is why the Bible says, and they began to join together bone to bone, meaning they were scattered. Hallelujah. But when the Lord 
when the, when the word of the Lord came to the bones, they began to arrange themselves together. The, I, I, I'm, I'm not with, um, in the orthopedic, but I want to imagine that the bone of the lower limbs began to arrange themselves in order. You know, the ribs began to come together. The, the, the hands, the, the, the bones of the hands began to come together. Like everything began to fit perfectly without the hand of a human being. Everything began to fit. I could I could ima I can imagine that every bone began to realize where it belonged. Every bone was like, I belong to this. I belong to here. I be and they began to fit perfectly well. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And right now, I want to prophesy to your life that everything that has been scattered in your life, everything that has been scattered, as I'm speaking the word of the living God, may it begin, may everything begin to form themselves. May everything begin to come into order in the name of Jesus. I want to declare and I want to speak that let everything begin to come into place. Let opportunities become begin to come into place. Let them begin to arrange themselves in the order, respectively. I want to speak to the marriages to begin to arrange themselves because of the, the word of the living God. By the reason of this word, may things begin to form in your life. By the reason of this word, but may the things that you desire begin to arrange, begin to come in the proper order into your life in the name of Jesus. Whatever had been scattered by the enemy whatever had been scattered let it gather to you in the name of jesus every opportunity that had scattered away may it begin to form and come together may it begin to come together right now in the name of jesus anything that was scattered anything that was scattered scattered by the enemy scattered by any any form of uh, evil forces may you begin to form in your life again in the name of jesus i'm speaking to marriages to begin to form in the name of jesus i'm speaking to opportunities to begin to form i'm speaking to jobs to begin to form in your life in the name of jesus may all these things begin to arrange themselves as it was that when the when the bones had the word they began to arrange themselves in order and the bible tells us and they arranged themselves together and there was the breath of life uh, that came into them in the name of Jesus uh, and also the Bible tells us that and muscles begin to grow around them I am praying right now may every opportunity you need begin to accumulate on your on you in the name of Jesus uh, everything that you desire the connections you desire I pray that they begin to accumulate your way in the name of Jesus uh, the uh, the financial lifting you need may it begin to occur in the name of Jesus because when there is the word things begin to occur when the word of the Lord is spoken be things begin to form things begin to occur the Bible tells us that Mary Mary the mother of Jesus and when the when she received the word from angel Gabriel things began to form and immediately she conceived hallelujah when the word of the Lord is spoken things begin to form i'm praying that let everything you desire right now begin to form in your life in the name of jesus and by the reason of his word hallelujah 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 i just i just want us to to continue believing god that even when things have dried up completely even when things, even when hope is dried up, even when courage is dried up, even when strength is dried up, the word of the Lord can resurrect because the word is the beginning. The word of the Lord is the beginning. And when you have the word, you have the beginning. The rest will form themselves in order. The Bible doesn't tell us that Abraham began to look for connections to the land of Canaan. The Bible doesn't tell us that. When the, when the, when the word of the Lord was spoken in his life, 
things began to form themselves in order without his touch. When the word of the Lord was spoken to the dry bones, they began to form themselves without the hand of a human being. When you receive as you have received the word, things are going to begin to form in your life without the help of a human being. When the word was spoken unto Mary that you shall conceive a child, things began to form in his own in her life as a matter of fact she didn't need a husband to conceive this child she needed the power of the holy spirit and that is what you need the word which comes along with the power is the one which which is going to overtake you and cause things to come into existence cause things that are not to come into existence as it was in the beginning that the beginning was in the beginning was the word and the word became something that and then john 14 tells us and the word became flesh and it dwelled among us i want you to believe the word of god though as the lord is speaking to you the word of the lord is going to come live you are going to see every every word of the lord unfold in your life you're going to behold it you are going to touch it and you're going to do well with it you're going to see the the blessing that the lord has promised you're going to see that that word that the lord has spoken to you come to pass and you shall touch it i'm telling you you will touch it you will see it you will be with it you will live with it in the name of jesus that is my prayer for you i'm praying that the, the may the word of the lord overtake every situation and begin to form things in your life in the name of Jesus even when hope is being lost may things begin to form in your life by the reason of the word let marriages begin to form let job opportunities begin to form let financial opportunities begin to form let travel opportunities begin to form let uh, family opportunities begin to form in the name of Jesus that is my prayer for you i just want you to 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 continue interacting I want to interact with you. I want to hear from you. I want to pray with you one on one. I want to encourage you one on one. And for this because we are limited on radio, we cannot speak in private, but I want you to take my number which is 0782 5547630 just take this number it is also on whatsapp so that we continue praying together we continue communing together we continue um i continue one on one with you praying with you believing god with you amen take my number one more time it is 0782554763 it is also on whatsapp You, you it is also on whatsapp we can communicate on whatsapp as well may the lord bless you follow us on our different social medias i am your friend uh, prophetess dorine ogwayo all the way from comfort healing well international hallelujah please come and visit us we are in entebbe garuga along garuga road come and visit us hallelujah call call so that we be in interaction i want to hear from you I want to hear from you. I want to pray with you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for loving me. I love you too. I'm just excited to hear from you. I'm excited to 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 hear uh, your feedback. I am so excited. May the Lord bless you greatly. I love you. I will be here on uh, on second, but be between now and then I wish you a happy new year. I wish you a prosperous new year in the name of Jesus. May the lord bless you i love you god bless the word is a seed when planted and watered grows to be great you can be anything you want You can achieve all your dreams if you only believe. The word is a seed. When planted and watered, grows to be great. You can be 